Welcome to 13 hour time 62. Flashback specials featuring new news of the days of old in Lego history. Hello everyone, for today's flashback, I'm going to show you the oldest minifigure that I own. Now, a lot of my Lego collection started around 1995 and uh, a couple of years even afterwards, and then up to today. But, in some of my travels, I found some figures and pieces from sets and themes older than um, most of my Lego collection. So, right here, I have one of the oldest piece, uh, one of the oldest minifigures that I own, and this is an Imperial soldier from one of the Pirates themes in 1980s. I think it's the only Pirates theme, but it just continued for a lot of years. Um, so this is what he looked like in his original form. There's also, I think, an, this hat with him, but I don't know if it went on the figure. I don't remember. Um, but there was this this hat with him that I found. The original tri-corner hat. And here we can see the minifigure. Let me just take off his, um, his, his little hat and give you a better look at his face. No back printing. So if you want to compare them to the most recent, hang on a sec, I'm just going to get um, the 2009 version of the soldier. Okay, here he is. We have a 2009 version of the Imperial Soldier. And as you can see, he has a lot more accessories because he was just taken um, from the Soldier's Fort. Just do a side by side comparison of the two. And I could do evolutions of them later on. Evolution is basically how they came from this on the left to this on the right. It would show all different kinds, but I'll do that for another time, if at all. So, as you can see, um, they're very different. I mean, the first thing you might notice, they don't have uh, the one on the left doesn't have any epaulets. Well, the one that I found does. But that doesn't mean there aren't any epaulets, period. They had epaulets for just about every single soldier, just as they do for these soldiers. Um, but we'll get into that in a little bit. You'll also notice um, the one on the right is more decorated. That is very true. He's also red, um, which is, this is not something new for 2009 Pirates. This was also available in 1980s Pirates. I'm saying the 80s because it was a couple of years, like I said before. There were red ones and there were blue ones as far as the Imperial Soldiers. Um, I would assume that they were collaborating together because they were both against the same enemy. You know? The enemy and my enemy is my friend. <laughs> Something like that. you also notice the torso is a different color. Instead of being white, um, it's actually red. And, you know, instead of this being blue, I don't know why they didn't go with blue. Because most of this is blue, um, except maybe some parts, you know, the right across and, and towards the bottom is white. The hats are exactly the same type. The epaulets are also the same type. And you can see, just basically, um, 2009 was a big improvement on the Pirates theme in terms of details. Um, they also had a lot more minifigures, but they still had a lot of elements from the first, um, installment of Pirates. We're just going to take them off for a bit. Now, if I were, um, I actually don't know. You're probably wondering, where did this guy come from? How'd you find him? Well, I really don't know. I think he just came from a random collection of, um, pieces that I got. There's once or twice I got some, um, some random pieces. I really don't know where this guy came from. Hang on a sec. Just putting the other guy back. Um, but, I could tell you he's from the 1980s Pirates because there has only been two installments of Pirates themes. Um, but, I know... I don't really know where his face came from. I think it's from Pirates, but it doesn't seem like it. Because I've done a lot of research right before doing this review. And, um, for the Pirates theme. And I haven't seen this guy's face show up for, for um, 
for many of the figures, not even with the soldiers. I think he might have been in a different, maybe he was in the Spanish Armada part of the Pirates theme. However, I could easily take some of the extra pieces that I have just from other sets and make this into some of those original Pirates, pirates figures. Because I have extra epaulets from 2009 Pirates. I have extra backpacks from things like Adventurers. Just got extra smiling faces. Just give them a sword or give them a, a gun. And he's exactly the same as you'd find him in most pirate sets. This is actually, this version of the Imperial Soldier, as there were a couple few, uh, I mean a couple, <laughs> that sounds weird. Um, there are a couple different versions of this version of the Imperial Soldier. As I find on Brick Set, there are seven different sets that he was available from. And here are some of them now. 6251 six, Pirate Minifigures. This is a little accessory pack that had five minifigures, one parrot, it had a treasure chest, two of the soldiers, um, So and the three were pirates, pretty good ones. We have Captain Redbeard, it's pretty good. Um, this was one of the soldiers. The other one was very similar in that he was blue, but he had yellow epaulets, a different hat, and no backpack, and a different face. 6259 Broadsides Brig. Again, the same kind of Imperial Soldiers were in this set, only two of them. The third minifigure was a pirate that was in prison. And that was a regular playset. That was just a small little base for Imperial Soldiers. Who have a blue flag as opposed to the red flag. But they're still Imperial. Set number 6265, Saber Island. This is a base playset. As in, there are um, there was a little base. And there was also a base plate that was used for making it. Um, there were two of these kinds of soldiers in that set. The other one, like I said before, is the same the yellow epaulets, different hat. He had the tricorner hat. 6267, Lagoon Lockup. There were two of these again. Um, it seems like in a lot of these blue Imperial sets, this soldier is like one of two of them. And that was a regular play set as well. 6270, Forbidden Island. This is a set that's made based on a pirate ship, but it has all these different features such as a... Um, like, it has the mast of the pirate ship, but it also has, like, this base built around it. This is the only soldier in that set, and it is made as a prisoner because it's a pirate island. It actually looks really cool because they have this staircase. Wish you could see it. But you could look at all these different sets on Brickset. They have pictures of the original figures from the, some of these sets. 6273 Rock Island Refuge. This is the only version of the soldier that's in that set. There's the other one, the Yellow Appalachian Sky. Um, it's actually a really large base for it, in that it has a large base plate. The base itself is about half of the set, but the base plate is really big. It has a lot of open space. It has a ramp that goes up to it. Uh, one of those repetitive used um, base plates from different themes. And the last one we have with this soldier is 6276 El Dorado Fortress. This is the big set for the Imperial part of LEGO Pirates in the blue, I guess, blue division. There are th one, two, three, four of the same exact guy in that set. It looks really cool because um, it's got a big open way, uh, a, a big open area. It has a dock. It's got a lot of really cool stuff. You could check out all these different sets on Brick Set. I don't think they're available for sale because you'd have to look through each of those different pages. In fact, um, according to the prices that they had, I'm I'm assuming these are prices of the time when the sets were out. They're actually really high. I don't know what happened in the 1980s and early 1990s, but prices for sets were way above 10 cents per piece. I'm looking at one set that has 106 pieces. But it's 1750. So that's really high for price per piece. Um, at that time, again, I don't know what happened in Lego's history of that time, but that's really high. 16 cents per piece. I don't think so. Um, there's even oh my, 
Forbidden Island, as I mentioned before, 182 pieces, 4 minifigures, 3750. Now that sounds like a lot, um, because it is a lot. Um, I mean, I would think they would have, you know, this big raise of price because of some figures or pieces, such as, um, well, Captain Redbeard. He's actually in a lot more sets than you thought, um, than I thought at least. They have a they have a drawbridge that can fall out. They have the they have the base plate. They have a palm tree. They have a big flag. They have a the crow's nest. They have that staircase. You know those are elements that are probably some of the biggest in the set. So that's probably either a reason to drive up the price, or I don't know maybe Lego is having a hard time during then. But I thought they were doing really well. I would imagine because pirates was the first theme to introduce unique faces. Ones like the ones like this guy with having unique facial hair and different facial expressions was started in this theme. Now, I've mentioned this is probably the oldest figure that I have. I'm not sure if I'll keep him this way unless I need the pieces elsewhere. But I do like how this looks. Um, I do mention this is the oldest minifigure that I have. But I have revised versions of older pieces... I kind of consider along those lines. Um, some of them I got from that little package I reviewed a while ago. Now this guy does look silly, but I got his face because it is an older face from some of the four sets in Castle. However, this is not original from any of those sets. It's actually a reprinted version um, based on those sets. I would also consider this as an older piece. However, it is, uh, yet again, a reprinted version um, the same molding, though, as some of the old chief heads in the Wild West theme. So, and I got these at the Lego store, so they're really nice in that you could get some of the older pieces sometimes reprinted, and, you know, it would, it would make you feel like you have an, a more classic piece, even though it's really not. Or if you're missing one of those, you know, God forbid you're missing one of these heads, then, um, you know, the makes you feel better you get that piece back or you just get like a classic piece i don't know what's your game um i also wanted to mention i i mentioned a while ago some of the oldest one of the oldest pieces that i had because they had a different printing on the lego studs this is also another old piece that i have i don't know what set this came from it came from probably a city set it looks like it came from main street because there was a big crane that had a lot of these pieces um but it you know, I only have one of these, and I would like to have more because this is a really nice-looking piece. It would be great for structures or construction, um, you know, but I only have the one. And I'd have to find out. you probably have to buy them more online. So there we have it. We have our oldest minifigure and other pieces and reprints of pieces. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we will see you later.